guys, welcome back to our channel and for today's video I am going to show you the best pageant screening ever happened here in our town. But before I am going to show you, I have a question for you guys and I hope you all cooperate. Yeah, so my question is like this. If you could break one rule, what rule it be and why? Please comment down below. So to all the people who will comment this video, I am going to give you a, a shout out for my next video. And I'd choose you in a hundred lifetimes. I'd choose you in a hundred worlds. I'd find you. And I'd say I do for the rest of my life with all that I have I do and I am already a pageant enthusiast ever since I was 13 years old. I've been doing pageant ever since. And also, I would like to introduce my aunt. She's, um, she's born and raised here in the Middle East. So um, every vacation, I always here to, you know, I live. And um, so, thank you so much. That's it. Next question, what foods have you like to eat? Right. Yeah, and yeah, she's uh, my she's my sister mother's sister's mother. You know what I mean? Family name. Marilyn Yeah. All right. So I have one more question for you. If there's one thing that you would want to change within yourself, what would that be wrong? Well, honestly, I don't see anything for me to change myself. Because um, I've been through a lot before, but it made me who I am today. So, maybe past, present, and future, I am always be grateful. I am always grateful, maybe good or bad. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tia Maria Luna, 21, and I'm from Tindo. Can you tell us your name? Say your name. I am Kia Marina Puya. Kia. Yes. Hi, Kia. How are you? Doing? I'm feeling very nervous. Nervous. Yes. Right. Okay. Um. So you're representing Barangay Tindo. Yes, sir. Can you tell us something about? What do you think is the biggest asset of Barangay Tito? Because honestly, I'm very new here, so I'd like to know what's the biggest asset of Barangay Tito. So I've been living in Barangay Tito in my whole life, in 21 years. So I believe that the biggest asset of our barangay would be the people. The people that are living in our barangay because um, I've witnessed how we you know, support each other and how we are very genuine on how we treat each other in our barangay. Mayong hapong sa tanan. Ako si Mary Jane Nain, by Pisinko, nag-arabasanta sa barangay. Good afternoon, my name is Nagri Boyce Montesas, representing Barangay Wola Shop. My first name is Irene. My second name is Lois. Lois. Yeah. Is this your first time No, actually, I am represent. I am a candidate from Lapu-Lapu. Um, I'm one of the pioneers from Bini Bini Lapu-Lapu 2019 up until 2022. Uh, 2022. That's right. How do you create your books in the Come again. How do you create your books in the Here, okay. 
So basically, I come from a line from Montes Claros, and I represent my uncle here, Lamus, who is the cousin of my dad from Montes Claros, and, and I am here to represent my family, introduce our our place, our beautiful place here, Medellin, with all the wonderful beaches, all those mountains stop here. So that it could also spread all around the world, also attract a lot of international tourists. I would tell them, of course, that I am, I am, I may not be born and raised here, but my family, my dad, and their side of my family side, my dad's family side, are born here, and I am glad to represent them here and bring them here to let them show, show them how joyful we are here and how joyful my family are. We love to do parties, and that's one of the things that I want to bring them here. What is your favorite food? Uh, actually, that would be my uncle's say from Maximo Express. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray and Bernil Daga 19. And I believe it takes courage to grow to be who you really are. I came from the home of the chocolates and courageous people, but on guy cover. Thank you. Good afternoon again. Good afternoon. Well, I came from Purong Tuloy. Purong Tuloy is near where? Ang Paradiso. Yeah, in Cabot. Which school do you go to? I'm sorry? Which school do you go to? Well, I, um, I'm taking up Bachelor of Science in Tourism from Management in Cebu Eastern College. Well, actually, all my families are a generation of beauty pageant, beauty queens, I mean. And I've been joining beauty pageants since I was 10 years old. 10 years old? Yes. Would you share with us where was this and what was your achievement? Yes, actually my first pageant is the hometown of my father, which is in Luan. Um, it's Binibini Yate, and um, I won. And I didn't expect it this because I was the youngest among the candidates, but I'm able to show myself as I am not there showcasing my beauty, but I am there with a purpose. Thank you. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, well, my last name is Tabra, that's my family name, but my root is from my mother's name, my mother's family, which is the Sunit family. Yes, Sunit family. <laughs> yes, of course, and um, well, I can say that I am a woman which is, I've been experiencing anxiety and depression, and I can say that um, Paradiso, which is the most famous beach in the Middle East, is my safe home and my comfort zone. How would you sell, we use the term sell, how would you sell the Middle as a destination for first time tourists? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am a tourism student, and we all know that our generation nowadays are so exposing in social media. Therefore, I will really use social media to use my voice and myself that you people must visit Middle because we are not just showcasing the tourist attractions or white beaches and the bubble sardines, but we, the people, we all know that Middle are the sweet people. So, Parana, Thank you. For 18 years old, and I am representing the main Hi, Jesse. What is your today? Thank you, sir, for that question. What inspires me today is to come out of my comfort zone. 
I am only 18 years old. This is my first time in the pageant industry, and people have always been supportive in all of my endeavors and my desires. And what inspires me is to pursue them instead of only listening to them and saying, "I yet na na kanang basin in the future na nasiguro na." But because of those people that keep pursuing my um, desires and they keep telling me that you have the potential. And what is potential if you don't try to come out of your comfort zone? So now I am inspired today because of the people that support me, especially my stepmother. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kayo Leonais and I'm 18 years old. I am proud to represent Barangay Kanhabaga. Uh, I'm sorry, can you please repeat your name and where you come from, please? I am Kyla Mayer Knight and I'm 18 years old. I'm proud to represent my barangay, Barangay del Habagat. Okay, um, my question is kind of sensational and this comes from the ladies behind me. My <laughs> question is if you were born to be an animal, what would that be and why? If I would be transforming to an animal, it would be a bird. Because a bird is very close to the sky. In the sky, there you could find peace. Hi, Debbie. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. This is your first time. Um, I've tried once in Upper Road Place. It's, it's a Friday right kind of pageant piece. Okay. Uh, what do you think are the three major challenges of joining a beauty contest? Thank you so much for that. Well, for me, the most challenging part in joining a pageant is that having the confidence and those discriminations you may face. Because um, we all know that we can have a different agenda. And despite of, of, of all those criticisms, you know how to stand up and to prove yourself that you can do more. I am Carmel Ray Kukula. And I'm proud to represent Pukasha! Hi, uh, Carmel. Hi, good afternoon. Um, is this the first time that you're doing this project? Yes, this is my first time. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Roxanne Abelga Kamai, 20 from Burgay. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. I am Gino Grace Bacorna, 18, of Kapatata North Bay. Hello. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Earlier, we told the candidate from Barangay Kapatata North Bay declined the offer to speak today, but what time did you decide to come over in the Oh, I'm sorry for that, but I was told earlier as well to represent Tinto, but then the Kapatatan um, Kapitan told my uncle to validate Gutinez um, to represent the Barangay Kapatatan because they don't have a candidate to represent the Barangay itself. So what rules have you got? Um, the Gutinez um, clan, or should I say the family, which um, is from my mother's side. Hi, sir. Okay, my question is, how are you going to promote Kapitata North and to the rest of the province of the entire country in the world? Thank you for that wonderful question. First and foremost, I would not only use my voice and the resources I could use, but I would uh, likely use the resources that is not been um, used by any other um, people. I would like to personally um, use um, something that I haven't I haven't used, such as my power, my ability to speak up personally, not just personally, but also virtually. Um, as we have seen and, and as we have experience nowadays virtual is to speak virtually is the most rapid thing to do so in order to um, 
to prevent the spread of coronavirus because we all know that up until now, coronavirus is not eradicated. So I would likely use uh, the things that I have, such as using my voice since I am a very shy person. Also using the networking apps that is available nowadays to promote what Kapo Latin has. Thank you. So what do you have in Kapo Latin that you would want to show the world? Oh, we have, I, I mean, um, to be honest, I was born and raised in Bogot City. I was just encouraged by my uncle to represent a barangay here in Mindalian. And what I am certain that Cabo Tatan Norte has very welcoming people and hospitable people. And that is something that I can show to the rest, or should I say to the neighboring um, barangays, to the neighboring cities and to the neighboring municipalities here in Philippines. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>